Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter seven, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. If you need to take away, or if you need to use these blocks, you absolutely can. I'm not going to have done enough of these by now that y'all know how to do this. So remember, the denominator stays the same. Three minus one is two. The biggest problem on this page is gonna be paying attention to the sign because some are subtraction and some are addition. So let's do number three. Denominator stays the same. Four minus three is one. Okay. Denominator stays the same. Six plus three is nine. Okay. So you guys go ahead and do that until number nine. Okay. Um, except I'm going to actually go ahead and do number five with y'all because it's kind of tricky and that's just silly. So we all know that any number over itself what is equal to one. Okay, so I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to put an 8 over 8 instead. Okay, now I use 8 because this denominator is 8. Okay, so 8 over 8 is the same thing as 1. Okay, so denominator is 8 and 8 minus 3 is 5. Don't let them trick you. Okay, all right, y'all can do through number 9. We're going to go down and do number 10. Okay. Sky finds how far his house is from several locations and makes the table shown. How much farther away from Guy's house is the library than the cafe? Well, library is nine tenths and cafe is four tenths. So nine tenths minus four tenths. Okay. Denominator stays the same. And nine minus four is five. So, and that's being measured in miles. Okay. If Guy walks from his house to school and back, how far is it? So five tenths to school and five tenths back home, right? So now that's 10 tenths of a mile, which equals one mile. Okay. All right, we're gonna go on to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. You're amazing, you can. And we're going to do this file review. Okay. There are six muffins in a package. How many packages will be needed to feed 48 people if each person has two muffins? Okay. So we need to get from six to 48 two times. Okay. So we know that six times eight is 48. Okay. So now I'm going to need eight packages, but I have to do that again. 16 packages. There we go. Okay. All right. Camp Oaks gets 32 boxes of orange juice and 56 boxes of apple juice. Each shelf in the cupboard can hold eight boxes of juice. What is the least number of shelves needed for all of the juice boxes? Okay. So, first we know how many juice boxes we have, right? So, 32. And 56, add them up. I get 8 and 8, so 88. All right. So now each shelf can hold eight boxes. Well, eight's going to go into 88 11 times. Divided by 8, it's going to be 11 shelves. All right. All right. A machine makes 18 parts an hour. If the op machine operates 24 hours a day, how many parts can it make in one day? So 24 times 18. 18 parts in every hour, there's 24 hours in a day. So let's go. Okay. All right. 8 times 4 is 32. Carrier 3. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 3 more is 19. Now we're going to tick, tack, toe. Okay, we use that so that we remember to cross off the number we already carried. We don't want to use that eight anymore, and I need a placeholder zero. And then one times 24 is going to be 24. Add them up. Okay, two plus zero is going to be two. Nine plus four is going to be 13. Carry that one, and one plus one is two, plus two more is four. And that's going to be Parts. Okay, 
All right. What equation does the model show below? What equation does the model below represent? Well, it has one, two, three, four, five, six that are colored in, and it's removing or taking away one, two, three, four, six, and that leaves us with one six left. We're done. Okay. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. For 7.5, come on back for 7.6. See you soon.